Look at who it is. It's the bear Jew. Oh, I've missed her so much. <laughs> and it's also Kelly and Cody from Dome Law. <laughs> Hi. Hey. What up, everybody? So today we are doing something so epic. We are kayak camping on the Caddo River. And I've never been kayak camping on a river before. I'm so excited. Yeah. Dude, yeah. when you do this, your whole life is going to change and all you're going to do is be addicted. He will be addicted. Matter of fact, you might quit doing everything else <laughs> You might else get you a this. small scooter because you might be uh, shuttling yourself I all know. the time. <laughs> <laughs> That's a little long of a bike ride to do it by oh, myself. Yeah. 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 I mean, you can do it, but... It'd take a couple hours. Oh, shuttle. yeah. Alright. Y'all ready? We are at the takeout right now. We've loaded my boat up onto the Bear Jew. And we're going to leave my truck at the takeout and take the Hummer to the put-in. We'll see you there. We have made it to the takeout. We have the boats loaded up and we're doing the Caddo River. Uh, we left my truck at the Amity access and we are putting in at the swinging, brig swinging bridge access. Swinging. Huh? Swinging. Swinging? What'd I say? Swinging. Swinging. Yeah, I don't even know what you said. <laughs> swinging. Swing I think you said swinging. We're putting in at the swinging bridge access and this is about a 18 mile float so we'll kayak about half of it today and then do the next section tomorrow let's get started oh. you need help here? no i got it Well, we just started and the river's a little lower than we thought. We're already dragging the boats. It's gonna be fun.
All right, now we get started. So this is the old swinging bridge. So that's where the name came from. So y'all may be wondering why we chose this river to kayak on. Well, one, it's the about the only river in Arkansas that is runnable right now. And two, it is runnable because of all the springs in this area. There's lots of hot springs and cold water springs. So this stays pretty much somewhat runnable and always has water in it all summer long. Hey, Cody. Howdy. <laughs> So cool. You're so cute. <laughs> nice little brim. Look at him. First catch. Another little broom. So this is what I was talking about, that it is always spring fed. Here's a perfect example. That right there is a spring. And we have already passed a few of them earlier too. So the Caddo River got its name from the Caddo Indian tribe that, set, that settled in this area a long time ago. This is the Caddo Gap, and it's where the Caddo River decided to go south and cut through this mountain range here. And it's very narrow gap here as the highway is carved into the mountain right there. And then there's this gorgeous house on the other side. Cody caught a fish. <laughs> He's cute. Not too bad. That's a decent size one too. Kelly! 
Buddy, you're kind of small now. Can you set a fire? You got it. Uh. I might need some pliers if they're handy. They're handy. They're handier than bucks on a shirt. They're right here. Actually, I think I got it. Okay. Yeah. Give me that. Hold on, I'll tell you when. And say action. Go. Action. Oh, say something. Uh, my first smallmouth for the day. That is so much bigger than my little smallmouth earlier. That is a gorgeous fish. It is. <laughs> <laughs> Well, well, what a, that was a gentle release. That was a very gentle release. <laughs> oh. Beautiful fish. I got a fish. Oh, it was so big it broke my line. Really? Dang, I was right here. Did you see it? Yeah. How big was it? I mean, it was probably that big. That's crazy. That was my only lure, too. <laughs> the crawfish. That's wild. Remember to always pick up your trash. That is one of my biggest pet peeves. And even though we are kayaking, I see a lot of trash on just about every river I do kayak. And a lot of it I cannot get to, whether it's at the bottom of the creek or it's just on the bank and it's inaccessible from where I'm at. I do try my best to get as far as big objects like water bottles, cans, stuff like that. Some of it's so small you can't get, or some of it's way too big, you can't fit on your boat. But at least bottles, I'll always try to pick those up in cans. Remember, always pick up your trash. This is amazing. Even though we're just kayaking right now, we ain't gotten to the fun part, the camping part. This is a lot of fun. And a gorgeous river, gorgeous area. This is my first time on this section of river. And especially it being this low, I've ran the lower section that will run probably tomorrow at a little bit higher level than this. But this section that we're on right now, this is totally new for me. I've never been on it. But I'm, I'm enjoying it, I'm loving it. And it is hot today, but it's a good hot. It's hot to where you wanna get in the water and to where if you're in the water, you wanna stay in the sun, if that makes sense. Look at that beautiful smallmouth. Little one, still beautiful. Wow. It's 
So I forgot two things on this trip. Forgot my hat, my beer, brimmed hat, and I forgot a koozie. But Cody was doing a good deed and picked up trash. And he found a beer can with the koozie on it, so I now have a koozie for the beer. I'm very grateful for Cody. Thank you. Look at Kelly getting this trash. She's so good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Yeah, a little bit. Not bad though. We have made it to Glenwood, which is about the halfway point. And today the goal was to get past the bridge because tomorrow we have another, I think about eight miles or so. I'm not sure. But the goal is to get past this bridge and then set up camp. And then tomorrow we'll knock out another. We have found camp and sun is starting to go down and we are all wore out. And I think Cody's putting his tent right here. And I will put mine probably over here somewhere. Then we'll start cooking dinner. Okay.
for dinner tonight, I am doing a rustic three cheese lasagna. Or I'm gonna start off with that, and then if I'm still hungry, I'm doing a three cheese mac and cheese. It's a lot of cheese and pasta. And I've already got my water started to boil. So what are y'all cooking over here? Well, we are cooking some butternut something. It's a butternut squash Indian dish. Got lentils and <coughs> chickpeas. It's really good. I tried a little bite and it was very good. I'm excited for mine. I'm gonna check it now. So the lasagna looks like it's ready to eat. The lasagna MRE was okay. It wasn't my favorite. That was a new one. I've never tried that brand or that flavor before. But the three cheese mac and cheese, I have had that before and it is actually pretty good and it is now ready. So let's give that a try. I enjoyed the three cheese mac and cheese and we all three shared a banana pudding and I think we're about to call it a night. We're all exhausted. So we'll see you in the morning. Good morning, everybody. We have eaten breakfast and started packing up a few things. It is already getting very hot, especially on the rock beach. It's not bad in the shade, but right now where camp is, it's pretty hot.
Wow, what a first. Is my GoPro going? Oh, yeah. No, go. Okay. John B, you go first. I'm going first. All right. Going first. This is your idea. All right, I'll go first. All right. Let's do it. Down at? Right here. Yeah. <laughs> most hurt. You get really exhausted paddling through these long pools. But it is a lot more remote filling. So we're digging the lower section when it's the water level's lower. I'd have to say. Oh yeah, I'm definitely enjoying this a lot more. I'm just going. I'm still going. I know, I can't <laughs> stop. <laughs> we should have got in or two. This has been the greatest day ever. And the spot is even better. It has made it. We've caught fish, we swam, we even floated down the river. What more could you ask for? And better people. Look at this. Hi. Oh, tacos. You could ask for tacos. 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 Yes, tacos. I don't think we're too far from the end of this river. I don't think. We'll see though. Gosh, that's hot. It's such a beautiful fish. <laughs> yeah. Where's my cell phone? Look at that. Okay, John B just caught the prized fish that you can get at freshwater fishing is the crappie. The best tasting fish. You're the it's the first crappie of the whole trip. Look at this thing. It's pretty big. Dude, that's not pretty big. This that's a massive one. 
Way to go, John B. Thank you. I caught a striped bass. Look at that. You keeping that one too? No. I mean, I don't think it's big enough. No, to... I don't think so. That is, wow. Such a beautiful fish. There you go. <laughs> Cody almost caught a black bass. An interesting fact, uh, the first European explorers that came over to North America, they didn't know what a bass was, so it's considered the black bass. And rainbow trout are actually invasive to North America in most parts. And when the first European explorers came over in the eastern United States, they saw these fish, black bass, and they didn't know what they were. So the first scientific name for black bass had the name trout in it, or uh, maybe not trout, but salmon, one of those two, and in the scientific name. And later on, explorers came to find out that the black bass was not one species, but multiple species of fish. And that's where the term bass came from, as far as smallmouth bass, largemouth bass, and our battery's dead. Largemouth bass, smallmouth bass, striped bass, and all the other species of bass. And the European explorers had no idea that bass existed because they are not native in Europe. I have a book called The Black Bass that you y'all can actually borrow if you want. And uh, it was first originally published in the mid 1800s. I have a recopy of it that was published in I think 1976, 1973. And it's like in mint condition, but yeah, y'all are more than welcome to bar it. It gives all the, it describes the genealogy of all the black bass fish, the first European explorers, and different fishing techniques for a black bass. Hmm. Very interesting. Where'd you get this book at? Uh, Erica actually found it, I think at an estate sale or a garage sale. Oh, nice. For like a dollar. Oh my God, what a steal. Yeah, for real. Hmm. So it's about the only book I own, and it's pretty interesting. <laughs> We have made it to the takeout and it was another long day on the river and it was hot. I'm sunburned pretty bad. I think Cody is too. We all are. I'm, I'm tan. I don't know. You look red in some spot. Anywho, this was an epic first kayak camping trip and I can't wait to do another one on a river. And it's getting late and I'm exhausted. We're all exhausted. So I'm going to leave it here with y'all. And remember to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, keep it wild.